When it comes to running and debugging your code, as well as remote development, we've made a number of enhancements to some of our existing features. Let's take a look, starting with the debugger. For calls outside your immediate code base, where the source code is not available, step into any debugger usually just steps over. But a while ago, we added force step into, which steps into the disassembly of the code being called. And now set execution point, which we introduced in the last release, works in this disassembly view too. Now set execution point should always be used carefully, as you can get into some nonsensical states. But when skipping over lines of assembly, the scope for that increases even further, so do be careful. Another thing we added in the last release was the ability to debug core dump files. We've got two enhancements to that in this release. The first is really just rounding out the existing support. If you build debug symbols separately from the executable, or you have them stripped out, you're able to specify that separate file for GDB, but not LLDB. Well, now we support separate symbol files in LLDB as well. In that same dialog, we've now added a field for sysroot as well. So if you're debugging a file built in another environment, but the system libraries are in a different location, you can specify that here and it will match them up. And if you're doing remote development over SSH, it's often useful to open a terminal and SSH into the remote machine. While you can do that using the start SSH session tool, you then have to enter or choose your session details and credentials and then navigate to where your project is being synced to. Not the end of the world, but seems a shame as both those pieces of information were already known to C-Line at that point. So we've now added a welcome convenience, open remote host terminal, which automates all of that for you, takes you straight where you need to be. While we're talking about remote dev, we've also added support for a couple more remote hosts, OpenBSD and DragonflyBSD. And when modifying remote toolchain settings, for example, to set up a compiler, this no longer resets the connection route path configured in the deployment settings. So that's the new debug and remote development enhancements in CLINE 2021.1, making those everyday tasks that little bit easier. <laughs>